Now, it may not feel like it today, but here in the southwest we get more than 1,600 hours of sunshine a year. But even with solar panels, it's often difficult to take full advantage of all that power. Well, now, a couple in Torquay are among the first in the country to install a new device, which means they use hardly any electricity from the national grid, as our environment correspondent Adrian Campbell reports. Well, it looks a little bit like a bodyboard, the kind of thing that you might take to the beach. But this is a power station, in essence, for this house. Our solar panels are generating 1.71 kilowatts. The battery is now at 97%. Mike Lister keeps a close eye on the performance of the new battery in his garage via a simple app on his computer. The house is using 0.35 kilowatts, and the rest is going to the grid. Mike's done away with most of his power-hungry appliances at home, such as cookers and kettles. But he's still hanging on to his leaf blower for now. Many energy analysts say our demand for energy may be too much for the grid to cope in future. So batteries could provide a useful backup for householders who can afford to fit them. If you have a power cut, what do you need? You need a fridge, you need a freezer, some lighting. So you'd set that up an emergency circuit and the battery can run that emergency circuit for quite some time, depending on how much you have on that, that circuit. When you say some time, are we talking minutes, hours, days? If it's just a simple fridge, maybe some lighting, you're looking at days. Um, if you run the whole house off it, obviously that, that battery will, will slowly discharge down over sort of 24 hours. It's still early days since the new lithium-ion battery's been fitted, but Mike Lister and his family are delighted every time they analyse the data on their computer about energy consumption at home. You can see just the tiny little red bits of when we actually consume stuff from the grid. Gosh. All the green has gone to the grid. Wow. So other people can benefit. That's and remarkable. And all, all the blue is all the stuff that we've used. This country's been slow to replace its elderly coal and nuclear power stations, making all of us more vulnerable to the possibility of power cuts in the coming years. So perhaps having a battery linked to your solar panels at home might just prove quite useful in the coming years. Adrian Campbell, BBC Spotlight, Torquay.